And welcome back. Well, in the last nine years, 80% of U.S. school districts have experienced funding cuts. We know those often affect music programs. A child without an instrument may not have the opportunity to reach their full musical potential. I hate the sound of that. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. So today, a call to dig into those closets and attics, head down into the basement, and donate your instruments that you no longer use. Eric Tillich and Shalisa Klein-Ugas are here from the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music to chat about their inaugural instrument drive. I love that you guys are doing yeah. this. Yeah, oh. it's great. You know, we were sitting around one day and we said, you know, what can we do for the community and help the kids that we teach every day? I don't know if you know this, but we teach 12,000 kids every week in schools around Milwaukee. Wow. So the thing that we've, we've had a challenge was is that the kids just don't have the instruments to take home and practice and play on a regular basis. So we thought, to each other, let's do a community-wide instrument drive. And yeah. here's what I was thinking about this. I was thinking there's so many people, I think about my parents, my mom played the clarinet, my dad played the trumpet, but a lot of people a lot younger than my parents too have instruments that they don't want to get rid of. They don't want to, you know, maybe sell it at a garage right. sale, but the idea of somebody, a child, being able to put it to good mm -hmm. use is very exciting to them and a reason to inspire someone to give it up. Exactly. And I think that was our, our point. At least I brought up a good point. Um, there was a documentary on a violin that was given in, in New York City. And I don't yeah, know. Joe's violin. It. Yeah. Awesome. And what, what we were planning on doing is kind of tracking some of these instruments to see kind of how oh. the kids learn the violin or learn the instrument and see how it's impacted them I and go back to the donor of the, of the instrument and yeah. say, here's what happened. Your instrument changed a life. So we're trying yeah. to replicate that a little bit, but it's a great idea. That's yeah. really great. A lot of the instruments people have at home maybe aren't working, they're out of tune, they can be repaired, but yeah. they're not really ready to be played. How do you deal with those types of interests? And do you take those instruments? Yes, we're taking all of those instruments. So we are going to have them repaired, refurbished, and they get new cases. Um, and set it up so the child that will be receiving this instrument is fully equipped to start their lessons. We have so many students that come to us who want lessons and we provide tuition assistance for those students, but oftentimes they also come to us without an instrument. So mm -hmm. they're not able to start lessons. So this is solving um, both of those problems. Are there any instruments you won't take? Our producer keeps saying, <laughs> are they going to take harps? <laughs> Do they need a harp? <laughs> we'll take a harp. Yes. Yep. <laughs> they need Harps yes. are good. Yep. Yes. And those yep. are expensive instruments. They are, no yeah. doubt. So I think fifteen dollars to $20,000 sometimes to wow. purchase a harp. So wow. we definitely take a harp. But the instruments that we won't take are pianos and organs. They're just, uh, too they're too big and they're difficult to get to the conservatory. And I think I mentioned this, um, we have about 35 grand pianos at the conservatory. So we have really good instruments in that uh, in that respect. So, okay. Yep. How many recorders can you take? <laughs> Doesn't everyone yeah. have a recorder? Well, we're probably going to shy away from recorders too. <laughs> and kazoos. No kazoos. Just, to, just so parents thank right. you. Right, right, yeah. exactly. Well, and I was just thinking, if it's an instrument I can play, then yeah. it's really not probably something you want. No. And a kazoo and a recorder are both in that category. Yeah. We're not yeah. judging. <laughs> exactly. Well, we will accept guitars and even electric guitars. So, okay. you know, we have rock programs, jazz programs, so we will be accepting all of those instruments You're as well. Wonderful. How are, how are you going to decide who gets the instruments? Yeah. So what we're going to do is an application process. Mm -hmm. We have some tremendous faculty and staff at the conservatory and then some of the administrative staff, and we're gonna involve some teachers in the community to say, hey, how do we get these out to the kids? So our goal is really 300 instruments. That's what we'd love to have that we can yeah. refurbish and get back in the hands. Um, there's other communities that have gotten more instruments, but we feel like that's kind of our space where we can get those. That's so, the goal. Yep, so we'll have an application process and then we'll get them off into the hands of kids, so. Okay. It's gotta be crushing for you to hear the types of statistics that yeah. we were talking about a second ago as it relates to these funding cuts and music yeah. not being right. available to kids because I think it, it's so meaningful in a child's development. Right. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, you wanna speak to that? Sure, well I mean I can say that Dr. Driver, Dr. Darian Driver is very committed to the arts. She's been working with a lot of the community the arts partners to really bring music into the lives of Milwaukee Public School children. And we see that across southeastern Wisconsin. Where there have been cuts, there are administrators and teachers that are very committed to getting music into the lives of their children. And we're in a position to help them with that. So that's been really very exciting. Mm -hmm. Will it cost for the kids then to get the instruments? 
Are there any costs associated? Yeah, for the child. No, no it's free. It's I mean, awesome. that's the that's the beauty of this. You yeah. know, the community stepping forward. I mean, we know Milwaukee, right? They're so charitable, and people open up their hearts, and and I'm sure we'll get a lot of instruments based on uh, on this drive this weekend. And the theme is be instrumental. Yeah, love right. that. Right. 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 I like that. That's uh -huh. fantastic. Who is the marketing genius that came up with that? So right. Smart. Be instrumental. <laughs> really nice. Right. Be instrumental. Right. So what should people do? We're going to put up some information. We want people mm -hmm. right now to head to your attic, your basement, yep. yes. your garage maybe even wherever you have your instruments stored it's Friday through Sunday that's yes. right right yep. so okay. Friday you can drop off instruments at the Milwaukee Public School Central offices on Valide Street and then Saturday and Sunday at Radio 889 Radio Milwaukee at Doors Open Block Party at the McIntosh Goodrich Mansion on Prospect Milk Music so there's locations throughout the city seven in yep. fact yes. which is great so there are seven drop-off locations to make it convenient for you to help with this incredible first ever yeah. instrument drive with the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music hashtag be instrumental again Friday through Sunday seven sites check out the website mcmusic.org slash What's that? WC. Oh, WC. Did I say M? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's upside down. That's M upside down. WCmusic.org slash instrument dash drive to find out more and to, to figure out which location is closest and most convenient to you. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Great to yeah. see you guys. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. Yeah, thank you. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I hope you get us, more than 300. Yeah, let us know how it goes. I think so. Yeah, we'll, we'll email you guys Sounds and tell you how good. it goes. So. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it.